Hi there, Electric Dreamers. Uh, welcome to another product review. Uh, the, today we have a new take on a tire truer that uh, has come in to us. This comes from a place called NP Labs in Alberta, Canada. And effectively what it is, is a, is a nicely packaged way of using your home track uh, and the power that's supplied to your home track to true up tires uh, in a car and also clean tires while you're busy um, racing. The package contains uh, what's shown here on this piece of track. It doesn't come with the track, obviously. It's a nicely 3D printed item. Uh, you will have to do some assembly. This one has been assembled uh, in, uh, ahead of time for the video. On the underneath of this is a piece of uh, cloth which is used or can be used for tire cleaning. And on the top, the flip down piece contains the abrasive sanding disc that's used to sand the tires. Uh, nicely done in that you can turn it to get to a fresh section of, abras of abrasive very easily. And the nice part about that is that the, uh, the kit that you buy comes with two pieces of semi semicircles where you can use those if you wanted, for example, to have two different grits of of sanding paper on the same on the same disc. So how does this work? Well, it fits onto your track. I've just got a piece of track here in front of me, and you could probably do it that way as well. Uh, there are on the underneath. There is a little pin at one end and a clip at the other end, a sprung-loaded clip that allows the uh, the tire truer or the scuffer to be um, locked into the slot. One word of warning to those of you that have Scalextric Sport Track, the little pin at the back end of the unit is not insulated and I would, if I were you, put a little piece of shrink tubing or some sort of insulation around that before you use it on a scale stick track where the rails go down on the inside as you could possibly cause a short circuit of some sort. So the idea is you take this, you put it down on the track, you lock it in position like that. It sits very nice and firm on the track and now you can use that uh, with your hand controller to clean tires by putting the car on the inside and rubbing the tires up and down. You could pre-wet this little piece of cloth with, a, uh, with some isopropyl alcohol or some water or whatever it is that you like to clean tires with and you pop it in there, squeeze the throttle and that would clean the tire. If you need to true or scuff the tires then you would uh, fold down this piece of uh, the, the, the hinged section of the truer and again with your throttle in one hand I guess and the other and the car in the other hand put it down and you can move the car back and forward across the, uh, the sanding paper. What I've done here is I've actually connected up a power supply you can see the connections here connected up a power supply so that we could actually show you how that works. I've set the power supply to about 7 volts, so it's about halfway. So the car fits onto the tire truer with the guide and the braids in the slot so that when you, when you put it down, the motor runs and now it's a matter of just a quick scuff across the across the um, abrasive to do that and to chew the tire. What you can of course do and is recommended in the very nice instructions that come with the car or with the truer is to actually use a little bit of water or a little bit of um, isopropyl alcohol on the <coughs> excuse me on the tire truer on the grinder so that you get a little bit of uh, a little bit of lubrication on the tire and that will help you. It's probably better to use two hands to do that so that you can put the rear of the car down very carefully onto the onto the truer uh, and scuff up the rear tires. 
So this is what we have. Um, the kit itself comes with the, all the 3D printed parts with a good instruction sheet. Uh, not only how to assemble it on the one side, all of the assembly instructions, putting on the, there are Velcro pieces. Uh, there's a piece of the of the, the, the loop fabric on here to uh, cushion the nose of the car. There's a piece of hook fabric underneath here to hold the, and here to hold the uh, the cloth down. And then there are the uh, self-adhesive uh, grinding pads, five, five inch sanding pads um, that are used for, grind, for grinding the tires. All of that is provided as, as spare parts uh, on top of what you get in the in the item, so that's how that is done. Um, what else can I say? It's uh, a nice, very economical way of uh, truing up or scuffing pre-trued tires. Sometimes you need to just clean them up quickly, and this will do that job very well. Uh, if you don't have a tire truer and you tend right now to use a piece of sandpaper on your track, this will give you a better finish because you have a nice flat surface here uh, with the, uh, the option of easily um, rotating the disc in order to get fresh, adhesive, uh, fresh abrasive to clean the tires. These are in stock at Electric Dreams and uh, I hope that you enjoyed that and that you uh, have some good information. Thank you.